Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to class three out of five on uh, Christian apologetics and overcoming uh, secular objections to the faith. Uh, before we launch into tonight, uh, a couple of folks have asked uh, about my background. And if you mu missed it in the bulletin uh, where we had our ad while it was running, uh, I'll just quickly summarize it. My, my undergraduate was from College of St. Thomas in St. Paul, Minnesota in uh, philosophy with minors in Latin and Greek. Then I, after uh, undergrad, I uh, came back to Chicago and studied at University of St. Mary Lake Seminary for three years uh, and uh, did all the coursework for a master's in theology, but decided that the priesthood wasn't the path God was calling me to. Uh, while I was there, just to keep busy, and I, I got an MA in philosophy from DePaul University, uh, primarily in uh, 18th, 19th, and 20th century uh, philosophy. Uh, when I looked at the job board at DePaul on what a starting salary for a philosophy uh, professor was, uh, I, I really needed a career counselor at this point. Uh, but if I remember looking at that thinking, Living in a studio in Hyde Park somewhere for the rest of my life probably wouldn't pay for my expensive hobbies like golf and, and other things. So uh, I entered the business world and, and got a, uh, an MBA from Northwestern at night while I was working. Uh, but all amidst that, I've always been very fascinated by uh, topics in theology, philosophy, history, science. And this year's program is particularly uh, close to my heart because uh, I think converts in a lot of ways are the, uh, the energy in the church uh, in the sense that if you are a cradle Catholic, we take a lot of things for granted. And I often think converts know what the 